fun. All right, good. How are you? Thank I'm you. awesome. Where are you going? Uh, to the mail room. I was going to pick up my packages. Oh, cool. You live in a barracks? Uh, yes, I mean. How's your room look? Sergeant Major of the Army Michael Grinston touring the Freedom Barracks on a recent visit to Fort Meade. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More on the Sergeant Major's visit in just a moment. Also this week, a delay in the delivery of Army Fitness Test Equipment. The Education Center has moved and our regularly scheduled look at the latest job search news. These stories and more, but highlighting the show this week, the Sergeant Major of the Army, Michael Grinston, spent an entire day at Fort Meade recently. As Sergeant Major of the Army, he's the Army Chief of Staff's personal advisor on all enlisted matters. He spends much of his time traveling throughout the Army, interacting with soldiers and their families. Leadership matters. That's why I'm coming to the, the barracks. Is you can put out a policy, but if you never check on how that policy is going, and are we doing better for our soldiers and their families, you know, you may not know whether it's happening or not. So, I truly believe that getting out in the field more and checking in to see uh, is the quality of life getting better. He spent most of his morning at Fort Meade at the Defense Media Activity, and then spent the rest of the day talking with post housing and barracks residents, discussing their quality of life. Sworn in as the 16th Sergeant Major of the Army last August, Grinston talked about his goals. I'm not concerned about my legacy or what I leave with. It's, um, it's not about my tenure, it's about did the Army get better while I was here. And that's the one thing, is did, was the last four years when I look back, uh, did I make the Army a better place? For more on the Sergeant Major's perspective on quality of life and the enlisted force, pick up a copy of this week's Sound Off. Meanwhile, in a related story, last October, Sergeant Major Grinston encouraged the entire force to start preparing for the new Army Combat Fitness Test. Since October, Army Logistics has been working to distribute the more than 36,000 sets of equipment needed for the new test. Fort Meade was prepared to distribute the equipment to dozens of units next week. Unfortunately, because of delays in the supply chain, the fielding of Fort Meade's Army Fitness equipment is being delayed until June 8th. The new Army Combat Fitness Test is a six-event test requiring equipment such as barbells, nylon sleds, medicine balls, kettlebells, and more. In more health news, as of the recording of this show, there have been three confirmed cases of coronavirus in Maryland, all of them in Montgomery County. Each of the services has released guidance on coronavirus. Here's a video produced by the Navy. In other news, the Fort Meade Education Center officially opened in its new location this week. The center moved from a temporary trailer facility on Ernie Pyle Road to the Post Library at 4418 Llewellyn Avenue. Education Center Specialist Rosetta Arnett says the new facility is a big upgrade. We're able to, you know, highlight all our services, like we have our um, testing room, uh, and so we're able to offer a, l a little bit more services since, we're, since we have moved to this new location. Arnett encourages anyone with questions about education services to stop by. For me community to come out to help us celebrate um, this new location and to be able to talk to us about any type of um, you know, education needs they might have. We do have a new program. Um, it is called the Credentialing um, Program and it's for soldiers where they can go and get any type of certificate that they might want. Elsewhere, time now for our regular look at the job search front. If you're catching the show before March 10th, don't forget about the latest Tech Expo hosted by the U.S. Army Intelligence and Security Command. The expo is from 9 to 1 at Club Mead. The Maryland Department of Labor, along with MWR, is hosting a technical job fair Wednesday, March 25th from 9 to 2 at Club Mead. Go to mead.armymwr.com for details. And finally, the Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Office's next employer hiring day event is Thursday, April 16th from 11 to 1, also at the McGill Training Center. Call the Transition Assistance Office at 301-677-9871 for more information. We close the show with some entertainment news from MWR. Club Meet is hosting a comedy night with Tony Woods Saturday, March 28th at 8 p.m. Woods is one of the original members of HBO's Deaf Comedy Jam show. The show also features comedians Chris Thomas and Alabama. Tickets are on sale now. Call 301-677-6969 or go to mead.armymwr.com for more information. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.